NTSE. And again, I put out an emergency alert Friday, uh, SOS emergency alert. Uh, emergency SOS is the name of the video. You can search that term. It, it's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And it states the facts. The private central banks, they're not even banks, they're just fraudsters, have set this up in the last 15 years. They've admitted they've set it up. It's all pre-planned. And we've got to stop them. I guess the Dow's down again today and 46, another 46 plus points, 46.05. It's closed today. Okay, I guess it's a holiday, so that's Friday. Uh, it goes on to say uh, Dow repeats Great Depression pattern. Here's another one. With the U.S. trapped in depression, this really is starting to feel like 1932. And that's Ambrose Evans Pritchard, a very prestigious writer. Uh, with the London Telegraph, the U.S. workforce shrank 652,000 jobs in June, one of the sharpest contractions ever. That rate of hourly earnings fell 0.1%. Wages are flirting with deflation. So they're devaluing the currency while you have depression in the real economy. Wall Street's making record profits. You've got deflation in wages. But inflation in currency value. Now, they didn't believe that could even exist until the late 70s. It's stagflation. This is leaning towards hyper stagflation. I mean, we live in a completely rigged economy. And even MSNBC had a headline, or CNBC admitting that last week. Dylan Radigan came out and said the entire stock market's rigged. It is. It's a casino meant to rip you off. Don't be a sucker. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Listen up, folks. This is important. Alex Jones here. Now you can get free shipping on the storable, easy-to-fix, delicious food from eFoodsDirect.com. From July 4th through July 14th, we have looming evacuations in the southeast, unemployment insurance running out, and predictions of huge inflation. So we all need to get as much food as we can. Every one of you needs to buy as much storable food as possible. This is the perfect time to do just that with eFoods Direct and take advantage of their free shipping special. When you order from eFoodsDirect.com from July 4th through July 14th, every dollar you spend will buy the food, and eFoods Direct will pay for the shipping in the continental United States. This is Alex Jones wishing you and your family true independence this 4th of July with great food and free shipping through July 14th from eFoodsDirect.com. You can order on the website eFoodsDirect.com or simply call 800-409-5633. That's 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash ship free. The Fall of America and the Western World is an all new 10 hour documentary and survival guide rolled into one. In this film, you will see the reasons why our government is failing and what you can do to prepare. Featuring Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Joseph Farah, David Icke, Naomi Wolf, G. Edward Griffin, Doug McIntyre, Mark Crispin Miller, Mickey Z, Doug Casey, David McIlvaney, and myself, Alex Jones. Protect yourself and get the tools you need to protect your family from these difficult times. The Fall of America and the Western World at www.thefallofamerica.net or click on the banners at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com Again, that website's www.thefallofamerica.net or call 800-655-1577 Prepare yourself and the ones you love today fallofamerica.net Big bro.
Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We're back live, eight minutes into the fourth and final hour here today. Your call's coming up at the bottom of the hour. So, Dow repeats Great Depression pattern. Stock markets worldwide in massive retreat. There is no way to pay back the 1.5 quadrillion, 1,500 trillion that these banks have created. It is designed to destroy us. It is a giant lead weight. They trick us into connecting ourselves to. And then they hold us hostage. If you want the economy to come back, if you want your pension fund, if you want your retirement, you've got to give us, the bankers, even more power over your economy. You've got to give us trillions more, and you give them the trillions, and Congress says, and the Parliament of England says, and the EU says to the central banks, where'd the money go? And they say, we're not going to tell you. This is a swindle. But because they're wearing $5,000 designer suits, and because they control your pension funds, no one goes to jail because they're holding us hostage. Dow repeats Great Depression pattern. That's CNBC. Here's London Telegraph. With the U.S. trapped in depression, this really is starting to feel like 1932. 652,000 people lost their jobs in the month of June alone. Ladies and gentlemen, we've known for four years we've been in a recession. All the economists we've had on. You can see it around you in business. They were telling you the economy was great four years ago. They've been telling you it's been getting better the last year and a half. Baloney. Anyone in business, anyone in the real world. I mean, 46 states on the verge of collapsing, according to Bloomberg. And the federal government's own admissions. Is that a recovering country? 46 states on the verge of collapsing. But the big private mega banks, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, Bank of America, they're all doing good with record profits and taking over everything, so they tell you the economy's great. And without even looking today, I've got a stack of mainstream news articles about how we're in a depression. Suddenly they're admitting we're in a depression. Why? Because they're going to scare us again and say, well, you better give the Federal Reserve unlimited power over the entire economy, over every facet of the economy, or they won't be able to fix it. They told you that a year and a half ago. And... Now they can offer their new global currency and their SDR as the solution to the crisis they've created. That's why. They've already milked us. They've already gotten us positioned. They've got us where they want us. They wanted to get us deeper into a depression and more in debt to them. And they've done that now. And they're coming back saying, gee, we just want to save the economy. And it is like having a 10-pound tumor growing on the side of your heart. If we do remove the tumor, it may kill us. But if we don't remove the tumor, we're dead. I mean, we're that ingratiated and that integrated in with these crooks. We, they've made it where we're dependent on them. That's the whole ball game. A Ponzi scheme that's too big to fail. That's the name of their game. A Ponzi scheme too big to fail that's designed to fail. And when it fails, it conquers you economically. You remember this headline last week, the third depression, Paul Krugman, New York Times. Why are, but of course his answer is giving the government and the Federal Reserve more power and more money. More spending, your money. And they've already decided they're going to devalue the dollar and on its assets build the new SDR that you pay carbon taxes to. Think of the magnitude of what's happening right now. And then I saw stacks of these articles without even looking. Happy 4th of July, America needs it. The great republic is in a perilous state, politically and economically. This is by Jeffrey S Simpson from the Saturday Globe and Mail. We can only hope 
Our American friends enjoy their national holiday weekend. Let them wave their flags, enjoy their picnics, and show their love of country because they need a holiday. And my sister uh, is in England. She just got out of college, so she's taking the European trip. And uh, my parents were over 4th of July, and she called to say hi uh, from England. And she said, oh, it's so nice. The Brits are all dressed up like Americans, and they're making fun of us, and it's fun. And and it, it, it's like a cute thing. And, and, of course, I separately knew the culture and knew that she said it's like they think we're silly. They like us, but it's like we're dumb. Yeah, that's right. We're a big joke, you see. First, we're blamed for everything in the world, all the wars, all the evil, when we've just been the blood supply for the cancer. And now, oh, Obama wasn't the messianic leader.